Craig Barn and the entire crew, welcome aboard the Sky Cabin. We will be cruising at an altitude of 180 feet for a panoramic view of Orange County. Please remain seated until we reach our cruising altitude. Once there, if you choose to stand during our flight, then please hold on to the handrail located directly in front of you. May we remind you that this is a non-smoking flight, so smoking is prohibited. Please prepare for gate departure. We begin our ascent today on an Orange County landmark that has been flying guests over Knott's Berry Farm since 1976. The Sky Cabin, which you are currently riding, was originally built in Switzerland and transported in several sections to the Canal to Knott's Berry Farm and has been soaring ever since. We would like to now direct your attention to outside the window as we tell you some of the sights you will see. To the south, you will see Hangtai, which takes riders up a 15-story lift hill and suspends them at the top before descending down a 96-degree drop. To the east, you will see many sites within our ghost town, Fiesta Village, and Camp Snoopy areas. That mountain range, for instance, is our Timber Mountain Log Ride. It was the first theme log film ride when it opened in 1969 and remains to this day one of our most popular attractions. Just beyond those tall pine trees is where you'll be able to set up camp with the Peanuts Camp. Camp Snoopy, which opened in 1983, was the first theme park area that was dedicated to children under 12 years of age. In the distance, you can see an ancient Aztec temple, which is our Jaguar attraction, a family roller coaster that sends passengers on an exciting tour around Fiesta Village, through the loop of Montezuma's Revenge, and around Reflection Lake. Speaking of Montezuma's Revenge, it opened on May 24th, 1978, making the Knott's Berry Farm's longest standing roller coaster. Montezuma's Revenge is an exciting ride that catapults passengers out of the station at 55 miles per hour. After a moment of weightlessness, the train zooms down the tower backwards, goes back to the loop, and passes through the station up a second 112-foot 